All right, y'all, good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here, as always. And we got Luciano Pavarotti back in the building, rest in peace. And this is one of those genres, opera, that I did not appreciate up until just recently, where it's, it's like fine wine. You really gotta dive into it to experience the beauty and, and all the, the aspects that it represents, and it, it just delivers on all fronts, for me personally. And if you're here, I assume you feel the same way. So we got Vesti La, La Juba, or La Guba. Correct me in the comments if my pronunciation is off. In, in English, it translates to put on the costume, often referred to as on with the motley. Um, again, let me know anything I need to down below. Uh, this is a famous tenor aria from Ruggiero, or Ruggiero Leon Cavallo's 1892 opera, Pagliacci. I'm assuming I butchered all of that, but it's no disrespect. I'm here for the for the greatness that is Luciano Pavarotti. I believe this was when it was in the early 90s when he did this performance. So, hey man, subscribe, like, notification bell. Uh, all my links are down below in the description if you wanna support the channel, uh, become a member, access extra tiers and features and things like that, special emojis for the, the premiere chats and all of that. Uh, recommend more stuff down below because up to this point I've only done Nasoon Dorma and I did the one with James Brown. It's a man's 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 world absolute classics by Luciano. So I can't wait to continue to grow this catalog with y'all. So set that over here. I love y'all. God bless. Let's get it popping. Vesti La Juba. What story are we about to tell? It's gonna get dramatic. I already know how, how opera gets down. Oh. <laughs> he is laughing like, I, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> some heart in this story. What happened? Putting on a mask to cover it up is...
Oh no, this ain't right. We can't have this. He's about to get upset, ain't he? Unleash that beat. Brilliant. Uh, the, that's, uh, that's one adjective that you could put on there amongst a million other ones. Man, that utter shock and expression in his face at the end of that. I get the, the Vesti Lejube he's putting the mask on at the end, but why is he putting a mask on? Did somebody, uh, did they hurt his feeling? Like what, what was done for him to feel like he wasn't worthy, like he wasn't good enough because, man, that was powerful. That was, I felt for him at the same, I felt for him and I was, I was sympathetic and I wanted to get in there and fight on the front lines with Luciano. I don't know what happened. I know this was written in the late 1890s or the, the early 1890s. So it, Luciano didn't create this, but the way he reenacted it and made it his own, there, he has to be the best one doing it. Like he, what are you, you're, you guys' top three favorite opera artists? And I know there's a, a probably a ton of different subgenres to opera, but I'm just now learning. I'm just now getting into the scene. And from what I can tell, Pavarotti is is the GOAT of, of this style of music. And I love just experiencing that raw emotion and just utter, just that you want to lend your heart out to him just to hold on to and say, it's, it's going to be okay. But then he comes around like with, with the anger and I love, it just immerses you. And I love it. I'm, I, I can't wait to continue to, to grow in this genre with y'all. And y'all know I experience a bunch of different genres. So it's all about coming together, finding common ground in music and going from there. So I love you. I appreciate you for tuning in and witnessing my first time with these. Let me know the next one I got to do. I'm starting a Luciano Pavarotti playlist, probably just an opera playlist in general, because we'll, we'll throw art, other artists in there as well. I'm sure there's a ton of other greats that I'm going to soon learn about. So subscribe, like, notification bell if you're new. All my links are in the description. Show my wife some love for all the awesome pieces of clothing she she makes me faith-filled, horror, all, anything you need. My wife makes it down below. With, it, it is appropriate stuff, obviously, but first link, krizzyscreations.com. Go show her some love. Outside of that, become a member of the channel if you support my videos and appreciate the content. Copyright, I don't get paid for these, so just that is what it is. But either way, I, I, I love being able to watch these with you guys and girls out there, no matter where you're at in the world. I love you. I'm praying for you. Humble me in the comments with any info you think I need to know. For right now though, Godspeed, I'm gone. If you made it to this point in the video, I appreciate you watching first and foremost. And by now, I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen my trading video, you see what I do outside of YouTube videos, because you know YouTube doesn't cut the check like that. So I've been trading for the past six years, a little bit over six years now. So if you're interested in what I do, you want to learn a new skill set, work is hard, or everything is all good, beautiful, and, and blessings your way, it, it's, it's all good. I'm glad for you, but you need to learn a skill set that allows your money to work for you. So check the pinned comment down below. Check out that video and uh, we can continue to move on forward. If not, man, just keep on watching my videos. Keep on putting good out into the world and trying to get better every single day. I love y'all, man. If you need to get a hold of me, email dgibbyfit at gmail.com. That's the best way to get in contact, whether it's in regards to trading. My YouTube, you just need some help along life. You need a piece of motivation, a swift kick in the butt. I'm here to help, man. So I appreciate y'all. I'm gone.